Hello there. You're watching How to Manage Your Relationship. I am Kent Brockman, and this is my assistant, Harry Dewberry. Together, he and I will be tackling some of the bigger issues you may find yourself in in your relationship and show you the best way to get around them. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and dive right on into it. The first situation we'll be talking about is the am I fat situation. So Harry, take it away. Do these pants make my thighs look all fat and poofy? No, they don't. You look beautiful all the time, my <coughs> snooky, <laughs> so sweet. Now guys, this is how you should respond every single time she asks you a question about how she looks, even if she's wearing a soiled diaper as a hat. You look so beautiful tonight. You don't think it makes me look silly? Not at all. Now, in rare circumstances, even the most innocent of compliments can backfire. <clears throat> you look really good today. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? I didn't look good yesterday? When this kind of thing actually does happen, my best advice for you is that you run. You run for your life. Do not turn around. You run far and fast. Okay, now on to what I like to call the empty milk jug in the refrigerator situation. Now all of you guys out there have had a wife or a girlfriend getting onto your case because you left an empty milk jug in the refrigerator. Let's see how to solve this situation. I found an empty milk jug in the fridge. Why do you always do that? Why can't you just throw it away, guy? Now. What I'm about to do may seem completely unorthodox, but I find that if you can beat her to the punch that you're about to receive, she will have no room for rebuttal. <clears throat> you're so right. Why would I do that? Why would I go and waste all of the room in the refrigerator on an empty milk jug when I could just go throw it away? Like, what is the deal with that? For, for the love of God, I'm so stupid! Now, is at this point where I would take that empty milk jug and slam it into my face as hard as I can, thereby knocking myself out because an unconscious person cannot hear or be involved in a conversation. Case closed. Now, this may be the most important information that I'm going to give to you, so take your notepads out and take notes. It's called pre-recorded responses over the phone. Now with this, you'll take a digital or analog recording device. Now then, you'll get the pacing of her conversational skills down and record your responses according to her timing. Things like, hey, I love you too. Yes. You're so right. I understand. Now, this will come in very handy on these long, drawn-out conversations where you don't actually want to have to listen. So now, instead of paying attention, you can watch football, you can play your video games, you can go to the store, get something to eat, take a nap, you know, important things instead of actually having to pay attention. Let's give it a try. Hey. Hey. I love you so much. I love you too. Yeah, I was thinking that Maybe we could pop up some popcorn and cuddle and watch the notebook. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, my God. I didn't think you'd do it. I love you so much. I love you, too. I was also thinking that maybe later this week we could go see my mom. You know, for, like, lunch or something. I agree. Really? Because you hate my mom. You're so right. What? I understand. What the what the hell's going on here? I thought I told you not to be oh, in the tape. Okay. <sighs> okay. So yeah, brand new piece of technology. Still working some of the kinks out, but yeah, it's gonna be great. Well, that concludes the advertising part of our show, which brings me to what I feel is the most serious part. My credentials. Now, my critics have slandered me, saying that my work is, and I quote, both retarded and deeply insulting. They've also gone as far as to say that, again, I quote, the solutions I propose could never possibly work at any time, in any place, for any reason whatsoever. I even had one viewer write into me to say, 
Thanks for ending my seven-year marriage, jerk. If I ever find you... And it, yeah, it just goes on and on like that. But for those of you who doubt me, let's just ask my wife of 20 years to see what she thinks. This is Missy. Yeah. Hey, Missy, how you doing? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love you too. Oh, you're a hoot. Okay, so anyway, Missy, do you think that the advice that I offer is pertinent in today's society for a man that's trying to be in a good relationship? Well, you do? What is that? You think that my advice is so good that it makes you super horny and you want to make out with me right now? Well, Missy, I couldn't possibly do that. There's all these people watching me. I know. You are such a dirty woman. Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, there you have it, folks. Straight from the mouth of the woman that's been with me every step of the way, all 20 years. Okay, well, before we go, um, don't forget, before we go, don't forget to go out and buy my self-published book, The Cunt Punt. The Art of Controlling Yo-Ho. It covers every aspect that a man will ever need to know about living in a relationship in this day and age. Well, anyway, that is my time. That's it for me. You have a good day.